Hi, I'm Cindy Hogan. And I'm Heather Banks. And today we're going to share with you a video about My Connection. The new My Connection feature is exclusive to the new Scan and Cut DX series, the SDX325 and SDX330D. My Connection allows the SDX325 and SDX330D to communicate with a wirelessly connected luminaire embroidery machine. Built-in cut data can be sent directly to My Design Center to create embroidery designs. You can also send embroidery data directly to the SDX325 or SDX330 machines wirelessly. In addition, once My Connection is enabled on the XP, the XP adds a new function, the ability to create appliques from shapes and embroidery designs, not just around the exterior of designs. In this video, you will learn how to send a built-in applique design wirelessly to the SDX325 and 330D machines and learn where the design can be retrieved to cut out the applique pieces. So are you guys ready to get started? On the home screen of the Luminaire, touch Embroidery. We are going to select a built-in applique embroidery design. Touch Category 1. Here we will find many embroidery designs located on the Luminaire. Touch Subcategory 5. These are Zentangle style designs. In this category, you will find some that include applique data. Touch Design 002. This is a floral design, and the flower part of it contains applique stitch data. Touch Set. This will set the design on the embroidery edit screen. For this design, we don't need to make any adjustments to the design. The applique material color is already assigned to the applique portions of the design, so they will be read correctly on the Scan and Cut DX machine as applique data. You can tell this because there is the color applique material noted by the scissors on the screen. If you bring in a design from a different source, you will want to change the color of the applique pieces to the color applique material. Touch Embroidery. This moves the design to the layout screen. At the bottom of the screen, touch the memory key. This is where you can save designs to the machine, a USB flash drive, send wirelessly to PE Design 11, and now you have the ability to send wirelessly to the Scan and Cut DX325 and 330D. The wireless transfer to the Scan and Cut machine is activated through my connection. Touch the Transfer to Scan and Cut Machine key. This will start the process of the wireless transfer. When the message appears, touch Transfer. The message that appears is telling you that it's going to override the last file that you sent to the Scan and Cut DX machine. If you haven't cut that design out, you will need to do so before pressing Transfer. If you are finished with that design, go ahead and proceed to Transfer. Now it's time to go to the Scan and Cut DX machine to cut our applique pieces. So let's go to Heather. Here we are at our SDX 330D. Let's take a closer look at the screen. On the home screen of the SDX 330D, touch the left navigation arrow once to navigate to the My Connection key. Touch My Connection. My Connection is where you go to find patterns that can be used to transfer to the XP. This functionality opens up over 1,300 designs that are built into the machine, with the exception of Disney, to use as artwork within My Design Center on the XP embroidery machine. Touch Retrieve. We want to retrieve the file from the XP. Touch the wireless LAN device. This selects the XP and the design will appear in a new window. Touch the applique key or the badge and the XP applique that was color coded with the color applique material will be seen on the screen. This allows the SDX325 and 330D to identify the parts of the design that are applique. If you were sending a design that had not been color coded, you would choose embroidery data key or the flower. 
You can color code applique pieces directly on the XP before transferring so that the applique is available. Touch OK to confirm the part selection. The applique only has one color coded section, so it's automatically selected, but if you had had multiple pieces, then you would have selected the one you wanted to cut first. Touch set. This places the cut data on the layout window. Peel the paper backing off of your fabric that has been prepared with the iron-on fabric applique contact sheet. We use the iron-on backing so we can fuse the fabric to the project. Place the fabric right side up on the standard mat. Place the mat between the grooves on the front of the machine and place one hand on the mat to support it. Once the mat is under the rollers, you can remove your hand. So press the load button. It's especially important to have proper mat loading technique. If you don't pay attention, the mat will load crooked and can possibly damage a corner of the mat, which can make loading mats difficult in the future. Touch the background scan key and press start. The background scan function is unique to the scan and cut machine. It takes a scan of the media that is placed on the mat and this allows you to visually see where the media is on the screen. You don't need to count grid squares to know where your cut file needs to be placed. Move the applique on top of the scan fabric. This ensures that the cut file is on top of it. Touch OK to proceed to the Operation Selection menu. Touch Please Select to bring up the menu. And touch Cut, which will take us to the cut screen. Look at the screen to make sure that the half cut setting isn't turned on. If it is turned on, touch the Settings key and navigate to Half Cut and touch Off. Since we are cutting fabric, we want to make sure that the cut goes through the material and the backing both. Touch Test. This adds a cut pattern on the screen. When you're cutting new media, it is always a good idea to do a test cut to make sure the pressure setting is correct. If your test cut doesn't cut cleanly, you may need to add a little bit more pressure. Move the test cut onto the fabric into a position where there is no cut data, just onto fabric. Make sure that it is centered over the fabric. Press start to begin cutting. The machine will cut the test cut and then stop to allow you to check to see if the media was cut cleanly. Well, it looks like our test cut worked perfectly. So let's press start so that we can begin cutting our applique. Okay, after the fabric is cut, we press the load button to unload the mat and gently remove the applique from the mat. So here's my applique. I started embroidering it and have taken it up to the applique data piece to where I need to place my fabric down. Here's Heather's applique piece that she cut out for us. So let's lay this down on top of there. And as you can see, it actually fits in the design perfectly. There was no need to add any offset or anything. The data was generated extremely well. So here is our completed project. As you can see, my connection makes transferring embroidery designs from the Luminaire to the SDX machines seamless. It is a time-saving addition that we are sure you will grow to love. Now the SDX 325 and the SDX 330D truly talk to the Luminaire.